focus is going to be a challenge for this part of the video, so I hope that you'll bear with me. Now, in order to bring new things into your life, that are no longer serving you. It's the same as if you were cleaning out a storage space or your car to travel or your bedroom if you want to get a bigger bed or your closet to bring in new clothing. Sometimes you change your sense of style slightly and certain garments no longer fit or they become worn and tattered and it's time to replace them and get new things that fit your new self better. So now I want you to, in relation to the things that you'd like to bring into your life, consider the things that you're going to have to let go of before you're able to bring those things in. And I want you to send them into the flames. All right. Just keep focusing on the flames. that you're letting go of. Just release them 
Pisces. So let's talk about your December of 2020 ASMR tarot forecast. Now, I've already done the 2021 yearly forecast, so this is going to focus only on the month of December, okay? Um, let's talk about the current state of affairs. Interesting, you have the lover's card here in the reverse. So this could be about a breakup, but it could also be about a choice that you feel has been taken away from you. Um, we have the Four of Swords, and that is about taking a rest, taking a break, um, being on the sidelines. It's the end of the battle, not the end of the war. We have the Beast coming out too, so there could have been things in this relationship. Um, beast is very much like the Devil card, where uh, one or the other of you were involved in self-destructive processes, and that's a contributor to the end of this relationship. Let's look more at the current state of affairs. So this is going to be the accurate depiction in the middle. We're going to have over here other people's perceptions from the outside, and then over here will be your perceptions of the situation. And then we're going to talk about the past and the future and your hopes and fears and stuff. So, coming out is the High Priestess in reverse. This could be about secrets coming out, uh, things that were hidden being revealed. Revealed, 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 revealed. Your perceptions of this situation. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So, it's possible um, that you were involved in some self-destructive tendencies and that uh, you lost a conflict. It was a decisive victory against you and that friendships have been lost over this conflict. What do other people think from the outside? And this is very interesting because from the outside, people are looking at the Ten of Pentacles, which, of course, has very little to do with love and romance, right? The Ten of Pentacles is the end of a financial cycle. So this could be people seeing you as, being, as having achieved a high level of success in your field and being well financially compensated for that. Let's look at the past. So in the past, we have the death card. There was a change that happened. It looks like it was pretty recent because um, the card is in the upright, which means that the ramifications of this change are still unfolding around you. And we have the soul doing what's right for your spirit, for your psyche. Well, this isn't the psyche card, but um, the soul being like, um, it's possible there was a transformation of spirit that occurred for you in the recent past. Let's look at the future. So the future, we have this page of swords in the reverse. It could be that you had it dealt with an air sign or that you will be seeing an air sign coming to your life in the near future. Page of swords is also a princess of swords. It is earth of air energy. So anything like um, any ideas being brought down into the physical plane. Um, and the death card coming out again. So what I perceive around you at this time, Pisces, is a lot of transformation and change. Um, and, and possibly that this 
this end of this relationship is tied up in that, but I feel like it's bigger than that, really. I don't think that that's all that's going on with you right now. Let's look at the hopes and fears. We have the Emperor card in the reverse, and the Emperor card in the reverse is totalitarian regimes and fascism and excessive force. So there could be a fear that you will experience those things, or there could be a fear that others perceive you as being that way. Now, for this part of the reading, this is the last part of this part of the reading phase one, if you will, before we go into phase two, uh, this is going to be your goal or destiny card here, and then over here is your final destination. So, your goal or destiny, we have the fool card coming out, the beginning of a new cycle, going into something without a lot of preconceived notions, clouding your idealism. And then for your final outcome for this reading for December of 2020, we have the Two of Pentacles, and that is all about balance, things kind of reaching an equilibrium or a parity in your life. Now let's go back down and look at the current state of affairs. So we had the Five of Swords in the reverse. We had the High Priestess in the reverse. And we also had the Ten of Pentacles in the upright.
doesn't have to be either of those things. I mean, it could even be um, a computer game that somebody gets too wrapped up in. Uh, anything can become an addiction or um, create imbalance. So look at all of those things in your life. Finally, we're going to look at this Ten of Pentacles in the upright. We have the messenger. It could be that um, there is somebody involved in your professional life who is acting as an attache in your emotional life in some way. Because we have the heart coming out here again. And remember, the heart can love very deeply, but hatred also comes from the heart. These strong emotions tied to the heart. We also have divining, so the messenger and divining. It's possible that um, you're paying somebody for tarot readings or psychic readings, um, but it's also possible that um, there's somebody in your work life, somebody that you associate with in your professional life who fulfills these roles for you of being the messenger and performing divining in some capacity for you. Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today for your December 2020 ASMR tarot forecast. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this reading, please do like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. subscribers. So um, if submissions haven't closed yet, be sure to fill the form out down in the description for a chance to win one of three free readings.